Hey guys, welcome back to Nelson 3. Now, if you haven't, if you've checked already, you can see there's a lot a bit different. I have actually done a few things off camera. Wasn't much, was basically just covering up some stuff, but I did actually find, where is it? We found the key. Yeah, I found this thing called Sage's Coal. It's, um, I've also got to do one more thing, so I've got a couple things to do at Firelink first. I found something called Sage's Coal. It's in, um, that's your one's one. This one's your best watchers because it's got the swords. We have to offer this, and it. You gotta do this to all of these four, so. To the um, other four, so. That one there is um, the one I'm looking at. That one is Old Witch, that one is, of course, Yorm, and that one is uh, Lothric. But yeah. Just wasn't it? Anyways, give this call. Well, I don't, I well, basically, this is in. Basically, it lets you infuse with like magic and deep, I believe it is. I can't remember, but. There's a few more. I've actually got one more thing to clear up first as well. I need to go to. Crucifixion Woods first. There's one NPC I've missed. Which. I'm gonna do get now now. It's not a, a long run to him now if I remember correctly. It's this way, yeah. Trying to avoid the dogs. I have to like him tropes. I don't wanna go to the towards the like him tropes. Down here. Um Kill him. Don't get shot on that. What? Oh, I put. We have to go this way. Really try not to get to not get bumped off, and then go up here. Now this actually unlocks NPC. In here, but do I have the? Do I have enough intelligence? Yes, I've got enough intelligence. You need at least 10 intelligence. To be able to speak to this guy. Well, this is only... What do you... This is my study, if you haven't any... How intriguing. <laughs> Indeed, I am a sort of work. What champion clearly yawn, so you will make that in exchange the fall. Well, very yawn. I am all unkin. We will... So he will return to Firelink now. Now, the... What? He'll just return to Firelink. Now, I'm just gonna have to return. I'm gonna make a rush. I'm gonna make a run straight to, straight to the, um, to the bonfire here. And now, if you, I think if you kill, if you take too long, he will actually kick. He will actually say, "Oh, I'm not going." He will leave Firelink if you take too long with this quest. Now, he's here. You have to have ten intelligence at least to talk to him. I've already all gesture. You have to give these scrolls. Oh my, it's from Ulysseal. Not even the dragon squad with the Xanthus. <laughs> they would sit. Yeah. We can see here they've got there's a lot of spells here. Cast light, not really useful. Decoy. That was basically Yearn from the original games. Uh these five came and I think the mist one. Come again. But if you do not give him the sorceries, oh, I I just liked that one. That was like with Junior Roll. He will he will leave Firelink and never return. Unfortunately, it's you have to 
find the scroll. So that's why I always say try and get him as soon as you go into Farron. Get the scroll. I think it's four bosses you have to kill. If you kill four bosses, he will not respawn. He will not. He will literally leave Fire Link and never return. Which is unless you've given him a scroll, which will pretty much lock him at Fire Link. The other way he, where he will leave Fire Link and never return is if you buy all his spells and you become useless. But then you can actually. Go to. Oh, I can't remember whereabouts. Anyway, this is the Catacombs of Carthus. It is one of my least favourite areas in the game. Story of Dark Souls 3. Ah, oh, you can see it already. But you can see there is a few of the enemies. Skeletons are the main enemy of this area. And if you've played any Dark Souls game, then you will know they are annoying. Play any sort of game and you're not coming kind of this road. This gives bleed. So it's got an itch. Kill the itch. Um, the the bonfire is actually quite a lot, a small distance away. Uh, you also have these new skeletons, which... They drop a few unique items. They drop... What do they drop is um, vertebrae shackles. I think... Uh, I really do not like the one-handed skeletons because they have a really big tendency to parry. Now, let's go get some DT. I love doing that. Oh yeah, I forgot that one. He can wipe himself. There's a Carthus Pyromancy Tome. I think you can give this to... Illusionary wall here. And around here is actually Aria. Aria's around here as well, so that's quite good. Because I want to finish her quest line. Well, I want to do part of her quest line. There's a trap there. Okay, so here's the room from earlier. There is a trap here, you can see from that button. I can't remember where Aria was. She's somewhere in this part of the area. I, I'm, you can see how I haven't been through this area in a long time. And it, it's... You can see it all looks the same as well. Which makes it even more... This area is so annoying. Oh god! Yeah, 
the enemies drop a lot of titanite and large titanite as well. Some large titanite, sharp gem, kind of useful. God, I hate that attack. And I hate that one as well. I don't want to get bled. Did they drop a lot of timeline in this area though? That's good. Ah, oh, there's another one. As always, another one. That's the that's this whole area in a nutshell. So it's literally that. Khaled? I think it was Khaled. Was it Khaled? Do you know? You probably know what I mean. In another one. Fuck, I missed it. Hmm. This bit is torturous. Here he comes. Boulder! It's a skelly boy, Boulder! You have to kill this guy. And then the boulder will disintegrate. Is great as it drops under bow shards. There's another one later in the level as well, which you need to worry about. Yeah, in Indiana Jones didn't have to go through this. Lucky git. Yeah, that, there they are. These are the parry gods. There's the parry. Oh, I hate this bloody parry god! <laughs> uh, honestly, these... Yeah, those ones are the worst. Oh, and he's fro- and these... And there's this guy who just throws orbs. Uh, yeah, that's another thing with this area which is not the nicest. Um, unless you're using, I think, a blessed weapon, they will respawn. Most enemy, most apart from the big ones, can respawn if they have glowing eyes. So you have to kill them twice. There's a... Uh, an old throwing hit. Uh, that whole area is literally f caked. Uh, the, there's a bonfire nearby, luckily, but now to get there, there's a bone boy. I kind of, I think this one really spawns as well. Oh, I l Yeah, this one respawns. Yeah, a lot of time in this area, but it's not worth it. Because this area is pain.
<laughs> Another respawning bullet dude here. Uh, there's another one here. You can see there's more of them. He tried to shield this guy. What? Oh, come on. I need to wait. The bleeds to go down a little bit. Because pretty much, if that fills up, I think it takes away 40% of your health. It used to be like 80 in Dark Souls. In Dark Souls 1, it was deadly because it would literally knock your health bar, which is why bleed was such a great enchant. And was the ultimate anti hacker tool because. Oh, it... Ah. Oh. Damn it, he dodged it. How the hell did he get that stamina? <sighs> oh, this part is painful because if you want to grab, grab this item, you have to avoid the hole. It's down the hole. I can't see. I'll see if I can find them. There is pure, unfiltrated evil down there. There it is. Pure, unfiltrated evil. If you don't know what those are, you're lucky. Here's another one of those boulders. Large tight night shard. Now I've got to run. Here's the not here. Down here. Here's the bonfire. There's where I destroyed the first skelly ball. Uh but yeah. Not a not a nice area this catacombs, Carthus. I'm gonna go back to fire link where it's safe. I'm actually approach this actually I wouldn't say approaching the halfway mark, but it's closer. It's close to the halfway point of the game. So, yeah, then, so another. I can't remember if there was another undead bone shot in the air in Catacombs of Carpets. I noticed. No, oh no, there's two in the next area. In another. Welcome. Very then taken. Okay, let me just level up one more. Level up strength, pad. Farewell, Ashen One. Uh, burn the other bone shuffle. Uh -oh. Estos flask. Um, yeah. Um, as you can see, I've got a few new items here. Canis Rogue with what I picked up, which adds bleeding to, to weapons or laceration. What else did I have? Oh yeah, I had the Palomancy Tome. I haven't even... I'll give it to him. Okay. Well, well, this inscription fascinating. This gives you Corinthus Beacon and Carthus uh, Beacon, Carthus Flame Art. Corinthus. Yeah, for some reason they they put made it so that pyromancy requires faith and intelligence in this game. I don't get this. Like, it used to be that you didn't. That was the whole appeal of pyromancy in the original and in Dark Souls Two. You didn't need to use. You didn't need to level up faith. You didn't need to level up intelligence. Do not forget what is <laughs> because faith was used for sorceries. 
No, faith is used for miracles, intelligence for sorceries, and for um, in Dark Souls 2, hex is used both. Anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. I hope you guys have enjoyed me pretty much getting pain done through Cat Carthus. If you have, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.